This video is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Visit amsoil.com for more information. Hey guys, I'm Greg Jones for Engine Builder. We're here at UCC 2021, day two. I'm with Jesse Warren of Warren Diesel Injection, and this is his UCC truck here behind us, and we're gonna get some details about the setup here that uh, Jesse's running, and uh, I know a lot of people are familiar with it. Some people might not know much about it, but we're gonna hear from the man himself. Jesse, can you tell us a little bit about the truck? Uh, yeah, we uh, changed some things up this year. Last year, we, we run this engine primarily in, a, in the slow pulling truck, this setup, and last year we had broke multiple blocks, I think three blocks, so coming into 2021 here, we were getting ready for this event out here. Yeah. We wanted a strong engine, so we ended up doing a uh, six. It's a six four six zero hybrid engine, pretty much is what it is. So we took a six four block and we machined the back of the block to with an adapter plate to accept the six zero high pressure oil pump. We uh, made custom stud adapters, so it's pretty much, and we sleeved the block down to a six zero, so it's still a yeah. six zero displacement. Right. But we put uh, ductile iron sleeves in it, it's filled filled block, filled heads, and then. We had a mill out the rocker boxes and we made custom billet adapters so we can go on top of the 6.4 stud to accept the 20 millimeter, 20 millimeter 6.0 head. Yeah. So it's, awesome. it's essentially, and it's running a 6.0 crank. We run a 6.0 crank. Uh, it's a 6.0 engine, 6.0 front cover. But we still have a 6.4 block and that gives us a, a, lot, a lot extra wall thickness. Right. So right. now it's yeah, safe. Because you guys are pushing close to 2,000 horsepower, correct? Yeah, we engine dynoed this on the engine dyno, and we didn't get a full sweep. We wanted to pull it down to 4,000, 4,500, and we had too tight of a turbo housing, I think, on the high pressure, but when it got, we'll come down to 5,000, that's where it lost the charges, but we were at 2,000 horsepower at 5,000 RPMs. Yeah. Now, Jesse, can you talk about some of the other internal components of the engine that you guys have upgraded through yeah. the years, and you know what the current setup's got? We have, uh, we run a solid lifter cam. It's from Cole. It's a pretty it's 460 lift. It could be a little bigger. I think it's a 465 lift in this uh, solid billet adjustable rockers. Yeah. Or the solid lifters. That that setup works really well for the horsepower range we're in. And we run the Waggler rods, Waggler rods, and the, the Maui billet pistons. Okay. And then a three O ring head. Yeah. And the heads are we have filled heads, filled block, which we would like to go to solid. We have a solid billet block coming out soon, but. This works out well for what we're doing now. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, now, you got a couple turbos here. You want to talk about the turbo setup that you're running? Yeah, the big charter is a Weimer 4.7. 4.7, I don't, it's close to 100, 120 millimeter, I think, 119, yeah. 119 millimeter. Yeah. Pretty big boy. <laughs> it's yeah, fairly big. It works really well. The yeah. small charter is a GT55, 94 millimeter. And we have both those are gated for nitrous. Yeah. And how and much nitrous are you guys running in? I want to try to run three jets today. Okay. Three, uh, probably three 102s or something in that range. Yeah. It should be, it doesn't need a whole lot of nitrous. Yeah. And then the truck itself, can you tell the folks a little bit about, uh, you know, what specifically the truck is? How long it, how long have it had it? And... We had this truck for a long time. I We used to use this for a, tow, a haul truck. We hauled yeah. the trailer for a number of years back. Yeah. I don't know, 2010, 2011, in that range. And then we started racing a little and then slowly we got into turn it into a competition truck, kind of destroyed the thing. But we, yeah. it all does is, it's just for UCC now. It's a four door, so you can't really race a four door at home. It's not good for any racing series. It's pretty much good for UCC, that's about it. Yeah. And it's got a, the big issue we're fighting, fighting with out here right now is this transmission is a 48RE with a slipper clutch and it's a belt driven oil pump with a transmission and that's, We've been having some trouble with a pump, or I don't know what's going on. So it really hurt us the first day in yesterday. Speaking of the UCC competition, I know you're no stranger to it. You've done it. Uh, have you done it since the very beginning, or uh, just yeah, the last from few the years? beginning yeah. in Utah. First year in Utah, we were out there in yeah. Utah. Yeah. So you're one of the veterans out here. Can you tell us a little bit about, uh, you know, if you guys have a focal point for certain events throughout the competition? Um, you know, what, what's kind of been your secret sauce to getting through it? This year, this, these trucks are really hard to side pull. Yeah. It's just tough to side pull, so yeah. uh, I'll see how it goes this year. But we're, we're hoping, with the trouble we're having right now, we're trying to, we want to make a really big hit on the dyno today and hoping that we change the pump and change some stuff, so we're hoping that works. We'll see, we'll go from there. See, how, But sled pulling is the biggest challenge of UCC. 
you know, have a truck that can drag race and dyno and then go to the side pole, it's a lot. Right. It's right. hard to get a real good, we have a side pole truck that can do the job, but it's gotta be one truck. Well, Jesse, we wish you the best of luck on day two here. I know there's still a long way to go in this thing. Um, and we appreciate you giving, giving us some of your time and telling the folks about the setup. And uh, we thank you guys all for watching. We'll see you next time.